an impeachment of a deputy president from my experience as a former leader of majority who was there when Amos Kimunya was impeached. Guys, hello guys. So we are talking about Adam Duale. The, the former CS is one wealthy guy, my people. This guy owns a lot of things in this country and a year beyond. He owns um, even in Somalia. Like this guy is one, you know, he has lucrative businesses, companies and everything going around in this country. And I've come to realize that 50% of wealthy people in Kenya are actually politicians. So let's start with what this... Uh, this CS owns, former CS for that matter, owns Genesis Musinikujie. So apparently this guy owns, this guy owns farms to hotels, to companies, we just name them. So let's start with the farm. He owns a camel farm and a vast one for that matter in Garissa. And he, has in, he also owns nomad hotels. Apparently it's not only in Nairobi, the city area, but also in, in other parts of the country. And he also has a four-story lilac center in Garissa town, and it is managed by his brother, who goes by the name Dubo Bare Dwale. A land allegedly grabbed from from Garissa Primary School. So let's pause, guys. So apparently, Adam Dwale has built. Apparently, Adam Dwale has built a four-story lilac center. That's the name of the building on a land that has been grabbed from Garissa Primary School. And I think this happens, or this is easy if, if for someone to do because they they have uh, some connections with the government. So that is what he owns right there. A lavish residence in Garissa town, a home that speaks volumes of his enormous wealth. He owns illicit charcoal trade in Somalia. Apparently, Anauza, Anauza charcoal maka illegally in Somalia. I think this is why Adam Duale was really adamant on refusing for the military police or the Jeshi people, the soldiers and everything to come out of Somalia because he had he, he has business going there and he knows that it will go down if those people are are removed from Somalia. He owns Medina Company or Medina Chemicals, a company supplying veterinary products in the in the in the region. And apparently, Adam Dwale bags in one one million, one, one let's just say one more than one million per month, and his estimated worth is two billion people. The estimated worth of Adam Dwale, our former CS, is two billion. Can you imagine, guys, what two billion can do to us Kenyans or to us <laughs> whoever? Anyway, guys, that is the the lucrative life of Adam Duale. What do you think? Do you think that he, this man is actually stolen or or uh, is it due to corruption? What do you think about his uh, net worth or about his l lucrative businesses? Thank you guys. Subscribe, like, share, above all, comment. Bye.